welcome Winston C., our social media guru in the house. Hello. I love that we thought we would talk to people about ingredients because we have such a global village, as we mentioned before yeah. with Yannick, and everyone is eating food from all around the world, but a lot of us are using ingredients that might be kind of weird to people who have never tried them before. Yeah, and what I love is just across Canada, there's so many different cuisines that you can now, like back a few years ago, you wouldn't be able to go into a, a normal grocery store no. and just get all of these different flavors from around the world, and it's changed so much. So It's amazing. So we put this question out on social media, what unusual usual ingredient or ingredients do you cook with at home and yeah. you got great responses we got some interesting ones from all four corners of the world so let's take a look at some of that right now uh, this is one that I got uh, from a viewer Anita she says chicken feet sometimes eel that's a really interesting Good old one chicken feet Good well if you do dim sum you know when the chicken feet comes around I hide under the table often a lot of people I don't hide. like the chicken feet <laughs> a lot of people love it though uh, Brenda tweeted us saying uh, rhubarb not unusual but it can be used other than for desserts a lot of people put rhubarb in uh, strawberry rhubarb pie but a right. lot of people cook with it as well in, in, in Maine cuisines okay um, Matt tweeted us saying uh, I'm Scottish and love cooking with haggis on occasions uh -huh. people think it's gross and I grew up in a Scottish family haggis was something that floated around from time to time and just like you with chicken feet I hide from haggis you hide from the haggis yes. yes a lot of people yeah. love haggis <laughs> and uh, one last yeah. one here from Sandra fish tea is a Dallas delicacy in Jamaican cuisine something my family has made for generations fish tea that's right yeah. I know and I don't love it either. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm so bland. Okay, let's go over here to our panel of experts. Mm -hmm. well, you guys are going to be one, our, one expert. <laughs> yeah. One and they expert. Just, oh, yeah. Yeah. We're just tagging you along. <laughs> We're gonna, Winston actually went shopping, and no. so he went and he brought. He pulled a bunch of ingredients, and it, you know, it's it's stuff that isn't used commonly. Uh, all the time, uh, but we're gonna guess. Yeah, and what I was saying earlier about going into a normal grocery store, I went into uh, our local Loblaws here in Toronto, the yeah. Maple Leaf Gardens, it's huge. And what I love is there's such a wide selection of international flavors, everything mm -hmm. from, uh, uh, well, Asia to Africa mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, uh, the, the Middle East. Yep. There's so much out there. So we're gonna guess. I pulled six mm -hmm. items and we're gonna guess. So Tracy, I'm gonna get you to pull the first one. Are you ready, people? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh. What do you think Can that I touch is? it? Yeah, you can touch, touch it. it. Okay. You're oh, you really here. got in there. Oh, yeah. Is that cheese? Taro root. Taro root. What is it? No. Is You're it? right. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Well, big deal. He's a it, chef. But it's purple. I've never seen a purple. So I, 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 have a, I have a Nigerian flag in, the, in, my, uh, in my Which screen here. Which is a here. vegetable? It is a taro it's a vegetable. Mm -hmm. It's a root. Yeah. Taro vegetable. You can, you can make chips with it. Oh, uh, like you potato. Oh. I mean, amazing. Yes. Yeah. yes. yes. Really yes. good. Yes. It's a ground, chips. like it's a root vegetable. Mm -hmm. It's like that same texture. It's not like a yam, but it's got that same that same consistency. If you go for dim sum, they make this one nice and crisp. Oh, my God. It also it also gets yeah. blended into different Getting drinks. It, okay. So it's okay. really cool. It's got a strong root. smell because I can smell it from yeah. here. I can't smell anything. It's like a potato here. It's like a potato. I can't yeah. smell anything. Let's pass the potato. It's, it's good that. Okay, pass, pass it around and while you do that, we're okay. going to do, ta-da! What's that? It's very is that a fruit? Yeah. Oh, this is a... Uh, is it a fruit, Ren? This is an easy one. Come on. It's easy? Yeah. It, it is a root vegetable. It's a root vegetable? Anyone from the audience want to throw it out? Yeah. Anybody? Nobody Good, knows. they don't know either. This is I don't feel so silly. What is it? It is a lotus, lotus, yeah. lotus root. Yeah. Oh, oh cool. it's a lotus yeah. root. And it actually originates flower. from Australia. Oh, it barely smells like anything yeah, either. Yeah, and it gets used in different stir fries. So okay. it's actually, uh, it's used in a lot of Asian cuisine as well. Yeah. And it gets sliced up, and it's got this really nice crunchy flavor, almost like water That's press. right. Oh. You can make that into chips as well, anything yeah. they fry. Everything. It's Beautiful. all about the potato chips. Okay, <laughs> lotus is like a white one. It's a water Are you guys ready for this one? Anything they fry. Ooh, oh, I love that. that. That's, um, that's a Look dragon it's not dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Yeah. Dragon fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this actually comes from Mexico. It does. Uh, uh, really, really neat uh, fruit here. And it it, looks again, cool. it's a fruit. And, it is beautiful. Uh, yeah. it, it also has migrated to Asia. A lot of yeah. people eat that. But it gets sliced up, and yeah. you just eat it as is. A lot of people put it in little salads lime, as well. A little salt. Mm -hmm. I mean, amazing. I love that. A little salt, yeah. hey, really. He puts salt on everything. Put salt on it. That's it. Yeah. Salt, make it. Chip, from, it's man. great. It's very <laughs> the, question, the question is, can we make chips out of that? Can no, you, make you chips can't. Out of that? <laughs> oh, well. Too can All right. Can you pull the lid off that one? I'm gonna pull this one off here. Oh, what is this, that? That's a really interesting looking. Oh one. yeah. Oh, I love that. This oh, those like drinks, I love those. What is that it? Is oh, what is it? Knows. What? Tamarind. Yeah. Tamarind. Exactly. So tamarind uh, yeah. is is uh, a, a, a 
it's like oh. a root as well. Yeah. Okay. And uh, like it, a, there's like a peanut. Like a peanut, like and a, a lot so of. So what's the thing at the bottom it, there? It's they, they actually make yep. it in almost like a jam where you can yep. use it in cooking. Oh. So a lot of people put it in sauces. Okay. Um, but also, if you eat this, you can actually eat this um, with a little bit of salt or a bit of sugar. Sure mm -hmm. And and it so actually, uh, I was told by one of our directors. I don't think Yannick likes it. <laughs> 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 a lot of great. It's very sour. It's very Ooh. sour, Yannick. It's great. For I wasn't your memory. expecting that. <laughs> I had like, I was thinking figs or dates or like, no. <laughs> it's going back in the peanut shell. Okay, it's great for your memory. Okay, okay. really quickly, let's and do the really last quickly, one. Let's do the okay. last one. What do we think this is? That looks is? like chocolate sauce. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get Frank oh, to smell I like. it. <laughs> I like. It looks like marmalade. marmalade. I have some. I have something what in my pocket. It almost looks like molasses a little bit. Let's hold it up. Oh, that's Good old marmalade. Yeah. Oh, the, yes. the Brits love this. You <laughs> spread it, it on love toast. Love it, love it, love it. Not me. <laughs> Come on. No, it's, but people who like it love it. It's very salty. And just finally the green oh, one at the very end. I just want to know cactus. what that is. It looks like cactus. Oh, it's cactus. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's cactus. I can't believe you can find that in supermarkets over here. It was in Loblaws. I love a salad with that in Mexico. And it's in a lot of cactus salads. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, now you've got your little primer on a green. Let's go try them all. 